Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Building with Sausage. This is Mythical Sausage here. Hello, what's up? How's everybody doing? Man, today we're going to continue on with our village upgrade. We're doing so many cool builds in this area. I want to just keep it going. And, and you know what? Right here, right in this little area, I'm going to add another really cool build that's it's perfect for this little spot because it is farm related. So we're going to be doing a little medieval style windmill. We're going to put it right here on this build, really close to that little farm and really close to this little farmhouse that we got right here. But I can't wait to do it. But you know what? And we're also using our boy Jersey Boys packs. If you guys want to download that pack, there's a little, uh, little link in the description. Go check it out. It's amazing. Download it. Play with it. It's so cool. Look at this. <laughs> All right. Now, let's get this started. But these are the materials we're going to go with. So I'm going to go with some dark oak log. We're going to go with all the spruce family, some white wool, and we're going to bring in some cobble and stuff like that. We might bring a couple things along the way, but let's get this started. I want to just start building. I'm so inspired right now. Okay, so um, we're going to keep the dimensions like we normally might do. We don't do it all the time, but I want to keep these dimensions right here with this building. But I'm going to get rid of this whole entire um, it, it's oak um, because you know what? I don't want to use oak. Uh, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of this. Uh, and then, you know what? Let's bring in right here the dark oak, and I'm going to go up right here in the corner by one two three four let's just leave let's go up by five okay let's go up by five so one two three four five let's go here get rid of all these oaks go up by five get rid of all these oaks and go up by five like this okay so we're gonna do you know we're also gonna get rid of this oak because i want to use primarily spruce if you notice most of our builds have spruce we got rid of all the oaks uh except for that stripped oak right there but that's a nice one but i might bring that later on in another build but for now i'm gonna do a primary base here of cobble I make it look very, very cool. Uh, so how about we lift this cobble up? So this is a one, a two, a three, a four, and a five. Let's lift this whole thing up with cobble by five. So it's going to be a small windmill. It's not going to be too big uh, since we're keeping the dimensions here. But I'm going to thicken the base out a little bit. Uh, just a tad, okay? So let's bring all these up by five. So we got a five. Uh, well, technically, one, two, three, four, five. wait, hold on, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, okay, fine, <laughs> so it's a five by five by five box all the way around with a nice little center point, but I want to thicken this out, so let's do this, I want to go up here in this corner, let's go up by, uh, let's see, let's go up by one, two, one, two, let's go up by two on all these corners right here, right there okay let's go and put a stair on top so stair on top i might come back here and add a little bit of stone break like to do a little texture job but for now let's do it like this okay perfect so we're gonna have a door i'm thinking the door will be right here in this side uh so for now let's just do a little row of uh, cobble down here as well so a lining of cobble one two three right in that little spot a little hole right there so this is the door i'm gonna go boom boom bam take these three out upside down stairs so that'll be a door to get in here uh and then we're gonna do a little stair job i say right let's do stairs here 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 and do another two right there like that so that's a little stair to get in and then let's do that over here on this side so put stairs on every other one like a so just like that that's perfect uh and then you know what i might do a little overhang here but let's leave that for now uh on these should i put windows i don't know i think i shouldn't let me do this for the everywhere that's there's no door i'm gonna lift this up also by two and put a cobble in there as well so we're thickening this out a little thickened boy in the bottom so one two and a stair right there perfect a little thick thing right there perfect uh and now i'm gonna add another bit of detail too see how we have these two popping out let's also do uh, a pop out here but let's do these stairs going all the way down so it's like a big old support right here on the bottom like that so stairs going all the way down actually we could do it here Let's do that. Let's do that. So it kind of matches what we're doing here on this side. And then on these, I'm going to go up and one more in. So let's do that. Another little bit of thickness here. Uh, so right here inside, a little uh, one block and a stair. And then here, we're leaving that uh, open. So we're doing it just like that. Oh, I like this base. This is looking very cool. But you know what? Let's come in here and let's bring in some stone. And let's also bring in... I'll bring that wool back later. Uh, and let's bring in some regular stone brick. And I'm just going to go ahead and do a little bit of a texture job. Because I don't want all this to be cobble. I want to move it around and shake it up like that. There we go. Something like this. It doesn't have to be exactly where I'm doing it. Uh, you can go totally random with it. So it can look very, very organic and natural. Uh, and go like that. Something like so. Uh, there we go. And something like that. Maybe one more down here. Uh, and then let's bring in the stone also. So I'm going to put a stone here and here and here. Let's go up like this. Just a little bit of a texture job. There we go. I like that. Uh, maybe taking that out. Let's take this little piece out. Uh, let's do this one maybe. How about you? You. 
and that looks good maybe one more right here uh, and then this you can just move around let's put some stairs also being uh, stone so it's not all cobble uh, but you know how I like do I love doing uh, the uh, the whole outline first uh, in just one block and then come inside here and just retexture a little bit just like that is looking lovely maybe one like this maybe one here and here and maybe a little more right there just a little bit and that looks good. Okay, cool. So that is a nice little base. Now, let's bring in a little bit of some more wood. So I'm gonna go up one more here and here. I'm gonna cross beam this, go up, cross beam this. I'm gonna go up here, cross beam that, and we're gonna go up and cross beam this. That's looking cool. Now, I'm gonna go with an, uh, a little sideways pop out log right here on each side like so okay underneath that we're gonna go with a uh either whichever stair you want it could be a cobble it could be a stone and we can uh, just texture it up just like we did on the bottom so it's not one same block so we got that that's looking very cool now let's go up i'm gonna go up right here on these corners now let's go up by one two three four and wait one two three four i think four for now one two three four one two three four on all of these until we get all the way around back to the other side right over here and ba -ba -ba -pum. oh four. there we go so four <laughs> on all these sides so now what i want to do is i'm going to do a little bit of a cross beam action right there let's cross beam all of these all of these coming down the line right here one more right there okay now i'm going to bring in the spruce and we're going to do this we're going to spruce it up right here do a nice little box of spruce just like that. Okay, very simple. Let's just go all the way around. Just a box of spruce. Leave a little space in the middle. Right here. A little box of spruce. Right there. Okay, so we have that. Now, underneath it, uh, we're going to do some stuff. Let's bring in, again, some of the cobble. We're going to go here, here. Uh, let's mix it. Let's do cobble and stone like that. So we're going to do bam. Let's do a little bam right there. Skip the middle. All right, let's do that, that. Let's do another two right here, random. And then underneath this, we're going to grab a slab. And it could be cobble or it could be stone. Either one. And we're going to mix it up. So one of these is stone. Let's do one. Oh, this is let's do the cobble there. Let's do cobble. And I'm going to do a stone in there. That is lovely. So we have this little box to go with right now. Uh, and then, you know what? In here, I, I, I'm, I don't think I'm going to put the windmill yet. I want to put one layer. And this could be like a little hay bale, kind of hay loft thing. And you know what? Let's actually do this just to give it a little bit more. Uh, let's do this. Uh, upside down stair and regular stair on both of these just to give it a little bit more definition to that. That's looking very cool. Okay, now let's do a little bit of the stripped spruce wood. Uh, and then let's just texture just a little bit so this is not all just one big old row of just regular spruce. Let's do some strips right here. And some people ask me, Saucy, if I, if I don't have 113 like I'm having right now, um, what can I use instead of a, the strips? Uh, you, there's pretty nothing else. There's nothing else that's really close to it. But if you want um, something that matches certain strip, like the stripped uh, oak, like this one, you can use sandstone. Or smooth sandstone for stone, uh, for, I mean for stripped uh, oak. Uh, but the other ones are pretty difficult uh, to replace. If anything, just if you want to texture anything like this, just mix and match different wood types, different planks. So if I wanted to do this one instead of the strip, maybe use uh, some dark oak instead, or maybe some regular oak instead with the spruce. But spruce is the primary block because it's the best ever. Uh, okay, so we have that. This is looking very, very cool. Okay, so so far we have this. So what I want to do now, I want to go up one more level. Okay, just one more level, and the level above this. Is, that's where I want to put the uh, the little windmill. I'll probably put the windmill right here on this side, on this edge, okay? So let's do one more row of this lovely thing here. So for this one, I'm going to do this. Watch this. I'm going to do another uh, pop-out, okay? I'm going to do the pop-out uh, right over. Let's do it right here on this side, but mm, let me think about it. Actually, you know what? I might even go in one. Let's go in one more. Uh, so see, this is one level out. I'm going to go one level in now. Uh, so for this one, I'm just going to bring in that loggy. Let's bring it all the way up. Let's match it to that side, right? So now what I want to do is I'm going to go up from there. Uh, and let's go up here. I'm going to do another. F uh, let's do a one, two, three, and another four. Okay. Let's do another four right inside like here. Right here, one inside. Perfect. Just like that. And then I'm going to do a, uh, I'm going to box this out. So for this one, uh, let's grab our regular guy right here. Let's just go up one, two, three. And you know what? Let's do a four. Let's do a four. So one, two, three, 
four. Okay. Let's go one, two, three, four. And then here I'm gonna I am gonna bring that stripped again. That stripped spruce. So it's gonna look very nice. Uh, so we have this layer right here. I love that. Now let's play around now with a little bit of detail. Uh, because this looks very boxy, so I want to I want to just tweak it a little bit. Uh, so for the tweak job, uh, this is what I'm thinking. Let's actually we can knock these corner bits right here. Let's knock down these corner bits. That looks very cool, right? Here, corner bit knocked out. Uh, and then let's bring in some more of this bad boy. Uh, and let's do it. Actually, you know what we could do? How about we pop these? Oh, I like that. Let's pop them out this direction instead. Uh, uh, like this let's pop them out this direction instead just like that coming all the way out okay now let's take these out one on every side just like this take them out one on every side and i'm gonna do like a little uh, a little overhang thing thing so for now let's do upside down stairs of either the cobble or the regular stone and let's go all the way around like uh, like so going all the way this way just like this so we have that going now, I'm definitely going to do something in this side, but watch this. First off, let's go ahead. I'm going to do some spruce. Let's do a spruce right about here. Let's come on this way and this way, okay? Then I'm going to bring this down one right here. Down one here. So let's do something like that, okay? Now, I'm going to bring this over and overhang that bit right here. And then I'm gonna grab the trap door and I'm gonna sprinkle that trap door like that. So it has like a nice little trim overhang right around the side. You think that's cool? I like that. Uh, let's do it again on this side. So this is how you do it. So bam, okay. We have it right there. We have this overhang right over here. Then we're gonna go bam, come out this way. And then we're gonna put trap right in here, here, and here. Let's do it again. We're gonna put one here and there so we have that overhang let's do it again on this side so right here slab slab we're gonna do uh, right here on this side slab 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 here slab here bring these two out and then trap door right here with our spruce and have that little overhang oh i love it let's keep doing it uh so slab slab is here double slab okay slab here and here and then trap door bam 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 and bam and we have this cool little trim that goes all the way around. And I love that. I love that. Now, I'm thinking, like, right here, it looks kind of empty. Uh, so I might do, let's see something. Let's see if this trap door, uh, it might be, ooh, you know what? How about we do this? How about we do this? Let's put right here trap doors on top of these also. Right there on top of those. But you know what I'm thinking right here? Uh, I'm, I really want to go a step lower. How about we put a full block instead of the slab right here? Just to give it a little bit more right there. Okay, you see that? Uh, and then right underneath this, we can bring in more trap going all the way around. And that kind of like goes down in a nice gradual slope, which looks really cool. And I'm going to do that all the way around here. So we have this nice little overhang all the way around here, giving all that detail. That looks very cool. Now, I like how it's looking right now, but I really want to put something underneath this too. So how about we grab a cobble wall, leave that spruce uh, fence and do something like this, just to give it a little bit more on the side. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing, Salsa? I'm fine. Uh, so wall and fence, wall and fence, just a little bit, just right there, just drape, drape down a little bit like that. That looks very, very cool. Now, how about this? Let's also grab, uh, let's do a, glass i'm gonna put in let's put in yellow glass i love this yellow glass in jeremy pack right here let's put a little yellow glass going all the way around it's gonna be cool we're just gonna put hay bales in there so it kind of matches that yellow glass which looks very cool uh also another thing that i want to do is let's grab uh, again these trap doors i love them uh let's do a little overhang of trap door underneath these stairs just to give it a little bit more detail as well right that looks cool and then let's grab another trap door but this time i'm gonna grab the acacia trap door which is now one of my favorite trap doors on jeremy pack when he recently added it uh and i'm gonna put these over here next to those trap doors uh so these kind of act as little shutters uh to the this little uh, glass that we have in the middle which looks awesome look at that look at that okay so we have this going another thing i want to do too let's do it since we're already here let's go ahead i'm gonna do let's do dark oak buttons and I'm going to put dark oak buttons on these exposed log pieces that are all the way around like so just to add that little bit of extra on those exposed pieces, which looks very, very cool. Uh, and I think that's good. Okay. 
we're doing it. All right, so now let's go back in here and add uh, some of these lovelies. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just randomly sprinkle something like that. Look how cool that is. Let's sprinkle some spruce. Uh, so what is this called again? Strip log. <laughs> spruce strip log. Very nice. Oh, I don't know what happened. Then let's go. Something like that. Maybe another one here. And then I'm just gonna randomly just go in here and sprinkle job it. There we go. Uh, bam. And maybe one more there. Oh man, this is looking amazing. Okay, I love this. Now we're gonna have to uh, finally decide to pop in. Uh, the uh, the windmill thing and we're gonna put it right here but before we do that let's go up one more on all of these cross beam everything you see here cross beam here cross beam here let's do pop out logs again on every one of these little pieces here oh I missed one perfect uh, and then let's go again underneath and be adding some of either the cobble or the regular stone uh, a little oh, upside down stairs just to give it that detail we love all right, perfect. On top of that, we're gonna put a roof. But uh, you know what? I think I wanna put the roof first and then we'll put the windmill last. How about that? Uh, and then, uh, you know what? We could add windows also on the spots where we don't have. Ooh, you know what? Let's do it. I'm gonna put the windmill right on. You know what? What if we put the windmill on this side? Just so it looks kind of cool when we take a picture, we see all the, the stuff in the back and the windmill here on this side. Because if we do it here, we could also do it here on this side. Oh, I don't know. We can really do it anywhere. Uh, I'm thinking about here. Let's do it right here on this side. So let's pop this out. So this is where we're going to put the windmill, okay? Uh, but for now, let's pop these three also and put our little, uh, little bit of glass in our little window uh, just to add that detail that we love so much. So right here. And then, you know what? Let's throw this here also and then we'll do the pop out right there uh, we could even take it if you want even lower like right here and have a double window uh, you know what I'm gonna do it let's pop it down one more and do a double window uh, and then except for this one it's gonna be pretty much centered uh, into that part uh, but that's fine let's grab that glass and we're gonna throw in that glass do a double window on the second part uh, let's go <laughs> I don't know if that's logical when we have a windmill in there but you know what I don't care about logic I like sex in this and that's how I'm doing it uh, so now let's also throw in those upside down stairs that also said, what is this lighting glitch? I don't know what that is or why that's happening. Maybe if we change the stair, that's weird. Okay, uh, but let's put these little upside down trap doors there. Upside down trap, regular trap doors in there. Uh, and then right next to these, we can also do, let's do a double of the acacia trap door on these right here. And then once we do that, let's work on the roof and I'll work on the windmill last, okay? If that's fine. Okay, cool. Now, this is looking awesome. Now, let's work on the roof. So for the roof, I want to do kind of um, almost like a little peak uh, type of roof. But let's see how we can work it out. So let's grab our spruce like we do. Uh, and let's do spruce corners like this. Spruce corners like this. Leave one in the middle. I think in the middle I'm going to go with a little trap door. Uh, so bam, bam, and trap. Let's do, let's move this around because it's all like all over the place. Okay, and then let's do, I also want a full block. Give me a full block. Okay, cool. Uh, so let's go again. So there we go. Bam, bam, bam. And let's go right, oh, uh, let's go right here with the trap. Uh, and then we're going to go bam, bam, and trap. Uh, maybe even better if we have a trap on the corner. Hmm. You know what? I think I might go with traps on the corners. Just to have just a, a little bit of a gradual slope when we come up. Okay, we have that going. That's perfect. Uh, you know, just to get it over with, let's put the buttons on the exposed. Because why not? Let's get that over with. Uh, and we got that there. Okay, perfect. Let's drop that on the floor. Okay, so let's work on a little bit of a roof right here. Uh, so let, I want to do a nice little peak. So for the peak, let's see how we're going to do this. Uh, so I'm going to go in here. Let's put a little slab. Oh, no, a little slab. Uh, let's see. Let's go slab, slab. Let's go slab, slab. So let's go all the way around. Slab, slab on all these little log corner pieces. Okay. Uh, let's go in here with a, a full block right there. Full block on all of these right here. We have the little exposed log. All right. Let's go actually with a full row of these right here. Let's go with a full row of planks right there. Okay. Now, let's do on this side, I'm thinking about doing, uh, let's go with a stair right there, okay? Let's go with a stair there, a stair there, and a stair there. Let's go with a trap door on top of those uh, slabs that we have already in place, just like this. There we go. Now, let's do, 
Uh, right here, let's go with a full block section on these three, right in the center, leaving those corner pieces empty. Right there, so we have this little look. I love this already. Uh, now, I'm gonna put, let's put a, uh, I'm thinking about a full block on top of these. So full block on top of the center pieces right there. So I like, I like where it's going. Uh, let's probably put right here on this side, let's put a trap, a little trap door right here. Just to add a little bit extra. All right, now let's do a stair going like this on every side, like so, right next to those little pieces right there. Boom, boom, boom. That's all, I like this. Now in here, let's knock this little piece out. Let's knock that out. Let's knock that out. And let's knock that out. And I, I'm thinking about going in here and put a little trap door. A little trap door, a little trap door all the way around to add a little detail. That's looking cool. Now on top of this, I'm thinking about a slab. Let's put a slab on top of all of those right there. Oh man, this is looking cool. Now let's go inside. Let's put a full block right on the edges of all those stairs that we see right here. Let's go here. Let's put another right here on top of the slab, another row trap, uh, not trap, but full, full, full planks. Okay, that's looking very cool. Now, I'm thinking about going up with this. Let's do a trap door here, 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 and here. Let's see. I wanted to go, I wanted to go shooting up right now. Let's do, how about another set of planks? You know what, actually, let's do this. Get rid of these trapdoors. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I want to go with another little bit of, uh, of peakage. So right here, let's say this is where the pop out section is going to go. Let's go right at the edges here with the stairs. And that gives it a better slope, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that. Now, let's go up now with the stairs. Let's go with a full block inside. Another full block. Let's go with a wall and some fence. And you know what? Let's also go with an iron bar on top of that. And we're going to go with a wall, a wall, fence, 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 and iron on top. Let's see. Let's take a step back. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. You know what might look a little bit? Let me see what this looks like. Just curious. If we put that instead, what kind of a... So Ooh, I like that. I like that. Let's replace that re right here on the top, wherever there's a slab. I kind of liked how it was before, but I think this makes it look a little cooler. It gives it a little bit more of a, of, of a, of a peak, like a nice a nice shoot up to the center. I love that. Uh, and I don't think I want to mess with anything else. Maybe... Let's see. I don't think I want to mess with anything else. If anything, we could maybe add some more trap doors on top here. Let me see. Let's just take a quick look to see if maybe that adds a little more. That does. Let's do that. Let's do that. And I think we're fine. That is looking very cool. All right. I love this tower. All right. Now, let's do uh, some more cool stuff, which is the this part you've been waiting for. Let's pop this out. <laughs> so I'm thinking, hold on. Let me knock this out. I just want to do this for a second just so it can go all the way out like that. Okay. Uh, and then let's go. Bam. Okay. Now let's pop this out. We're going to go out here. So this is technically, if you're counting from this wall, this is a one, two, three, four, and a five. I think would we'll give it the clearance we need. Let's do... That's a five. I think we can go one more with a six. Just to give it enough clearance. I think that's perfect. And then here. Uh, so this is six long. So right here on the fifth. Let's do something like this. Something like that. Okay. Just to give it a little bit uh, of, a, of a little turny twist wheel thingy. Uh, and then let's work on uh, something here. Uh, so for this, let's bring in the wall. Uh... White wall's perfect, and I'm gonna be playing around with these blocks here. Let's also take this one away, put a trapdoor. Okay, I think we're ready to work this out. So, uh, let's see how, how cool we can make this windmill. Uh, so let's see. I'm gonna go starting from right here. Okay, right here in this thing thing. Uh, let's see, let's go. Let's go up a one, two. Okay, let's do three right here a little a little l and then go up by two something like that so a little one two turn one two three so let's repeat this same thing about all the way around so here let's go one two then this is going to go up here with a little l and then this is going to go with the l okay hold on one two and then hold on. one two three so one two one two three one two one two three okay let's go over here let's go down one two l one, two, three. Okay, and then let's go over here. So one, two, go down. L, one, two, three. That looks really cool. Okay, we're gonna play around with this now, okay? 
Uh, what I'm thinking now to do is uh, we're gonna put the white wool. We're gonna put it behind it though. Uh, but before we do that, let me tweak this a little bit just so we can have a little better angles with stairs, okay? Uh, so how about we put right in here? Let's put a stair, and then let's put a stair like that. Okay, let's do that. So stair, two upside down stairs. So if we do that, it's gonna be a stair right here and a stair right here. Like, see, hold on. Stair, stair. I want to see we match it good. Okay, perfect. Now another one here, stair, stair. And then another one here, stair. Oh, no, sorry. Stair, stair. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, now let's do a little twist job. So right here, let's do a twist stair right there like that. This one would face downwards, right? Let's see, hold on. Let me make sure that. Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on. There we go. So that faces that way. All right, we're going slow. Let's do it slow. This one would face this way, right? Yep. And then this one would face that way. I think we're good. Let's see. So stairs going up, stairs going up. There we go. Okay, perfect. So let's take a step back. That's how it's looking so far. I love that. I love that. Now, a little more uh, tweakage, okay? Let's do a stair. Let's take this out and let's put a stair in there. All right? Let's take this out. Let's put this upside down stair right there. Let's go over here. Take this one out. Upside down stair right there. And then let's take this one out and we'll put a stair facing that way right there. So that's giving it a nice little twisted twist. All right. Now, how about this? Let's go in here and let's do stairs all the way around. So upside downs on those facing down inwards on those. OK, let's knock these out right now. Let's put fences inside these right here. OK, so that's looking very cool. I love that so much. Uh, so we have this going now. What I want to do is let's start putting a little wall. Now, to put the wool, I'm thinking we're going to have to put them inside here. So let's actually go, uh, let's see where we want the wool. So if I'm here, I'm thinking I want the wools on the outside parts of these. So let's go in here. Let's put this as a placeholder block. Take that out. Okay, so right here, we're going to go up by one. So I'm thinking about, I want them to uh, show outside. So let's do that here. Let's take this and go one up, two, three, four. Let's see. So something like that. But I want it to show up top here. So let's do it like a little a little box like that. So we got two up L going up right up to the top and do a little quad here on the top. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, I think that looks good. But what if we take it out one more and let's do something like this. Hold on. Let's see something like that. Oh, there we go. There we go. So I want to repeat the same pattern all the way around. I like the way that looks. So for over here on this side, it's just one, two, a little L. So like one, two there. Well, then we got one, two, three, four. And up here we have this T with a little, little bob, bobble at the end. <laughs> Let's see if we can remake that. Uh, so if you notice all of these popping out or popping out where this stair is going out. So right here. Uh, so let's see if we can repeat whatever we just did here. Uh, so I think right there too, we got the L. Okay. We got the L and then we're going to take this out by one, two, three. We're going to take it out again. All right. So we have this as count this. So this is one, two, three, four, five. And we have this little thing. So one, two, three, four, five. And now we have this little thing, this little T, right? So this is going to go up right here. Little bobble looking thing, right? So that goes up right here. And then this guy goes in here. Was it like this? Hold on. <laughs> this is so tough when you're doing it uh, uh, like this. Okay, hold on. So we have the little bobble thing here that goes there, that goes there. And then this little quad piece, I think this takes it down like that. Okay, perfect. So let's take a look. Yeah, there we go. So let's take a look on this side. It's so tough to do these windmills. Okay, so we got that. And we have that. So that is matching up, I think, oh, lovely. Yes, it is. Okay, down. let's do it again. Let's see if we can do it together. All right, so let's take it over here. Remember, it has to go. I fell, I fell, I fell. Uh, let's start over here. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to take this down, placeholder block, boom. We're going to go over here, in, and that's your L. Then this is five down, so one, two, three, four, five. Okay, then we're taking this little bobble thing here. We're going to put there, there, and there. Let's check it out. Hold on. No, hold on. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So that, that we have that there. Let's take a look. Let's go back again. There it is. Okay. It's the same pattern. So take a look right here. Let's pause the screen. That's how we do it on this side. Now let's do this one more time. We're almost done. Placeholder. Take that down. So boom. 
and boom that's your l so then this is one two three four five we're taking this down right here and right here and then our little t thing is it right there hold on no it's like that <laughs> now we got it okay perfect let's look at it from here oh that looks so cool now let's take it to the other side so you can see it on this end so that's how this angle goes it looks like almost like a little baby crawling going to bed uh look this one's going down right there and then this one's going upside down this one is uh, i don't know and then this one going up that looks cool i see it <laughs> now you cannot see it it's like a little baby walking well this one though look at cr like a crawler right there all right so we have this looking very cool I love this so much. Now, the only thing I really want to do is this bring in some of these stripped uh, just to give it a little bit of texture in certain spots. So maybe like one here. Let's do like one there. Uh, let's do a couple right there and maybe one here. See, it looks so much better like that with a little bit of texture with that spruce right there. That stripped spruce. Let's do a two and maybe a one right there. I wish there was stripped spruce stairs. Imagine that. Let's look at so cool. Look at this. Come on now. Uh, we could do just a little more detail. Let's grab some trap door, uh, which is right here. Uh, and on certain ones, like right there, let's put a trap door. Let's put a trap door right here. Let's, right here where all these stairs are at, let's put a trap door. Just to add a little bit more. See, like a stair and a trap door right there and another trap door. Just to add a little bit more to that mechanism thing. I don't want to put any more on the bottom. I think right there would just do the trick. And that's looking very, very cool. And you know what? Let's put right in the middle our customary button on the expose thing right over here now another thing we could do is right on this we could add trap doors that go all the way around that's that looks pretty cool and then we can add another one here showing almost like this is like it helps it turn or whatever i fell and let's put another one right there oh baby and that's it that is our, our lovely sex the thing here we could go crazy and if you want you can add a bunch of stuff more fences and stuff like that but i don't think i want to mess with it i think that just looks so cool right there just like that oh and it pops out just enough oh that looks good and it definitely you can see that could twirl that could twirl like crazy there at the end uh, and I think it'll work lovely if you want maybe add a little more more support to this to show that it's you know This part is being held up a little better. We could go. Let's just break this to break in for a second Just to go like that. I think just looks like it might be held up a little better or supported a little better Oh, no, this would go probably like that. There we go. Let's do that because it looks a little flimsy Let's do something like this and maybe a little bit of extra right here on this side like so now nah, just those just right there on the edges there that looks yeah it looks a little better it looks like it's actually uh it, it's supporting that huge uh, giant windmill a little more with that detail right there okay let's take a spin what do you guys think oh man hold on now there's no spin yet let's grab a door hold on i'm just gonna sneak in here and grab this door uh come here acacia door i like that acacia door i'm gonna do that right here let's put a little acacia door right here and the inside so much space look at this uh, and inside, the only thing I would probably do here, let's, you know, we could do a little upside down stair actions going all the way around, like so, like so, and then maybe a little glow, glowstone on the tippy top, right there, a little trap right about there, and that's good, I think I won't even touch that, and then over here, a little bit of detail, maybe some upside down stairs on all of these right here. And oh, right there, a little trap door action on top of those, and a little trap door action underneath these. I love this little archway look right about there. Uh, and then here, we can maybe even do a little twist job, and maybe this just goes down and a little wall here. I don't know how any of this works, but this might look pretty cool. A little twist, twist right there, right there. Uh, and that looks cool and then it maybe just bring this down and this does maybe a little twist job somewhere down here I don't know, uh, but over here. I would probably do a little cross beam action here Trap door maybe one of these where's the front door? I would probably do it right here and then all of these I'll you know what you can trap door all of them uh, But maybe put one here one ladder uh, to get up to the tippy top right about here in this corner uh, on this, I might just move this around, maybe do a little bit of a texture job, like so, like that. Ooh, that looks nice. And then, boom, come up to the top. You got the little twist twist here. Uh, I put a hay, maybe some hay over here, hay right here. Uh, just play around with it, stuff like this. Boom, a little hay loft up there, twist to twist. Uh, and then just go crazy. 
<laughs> Let's go crazy. Uh, this could probably take that down here and maybe a little trap door thing thing like so and then wait where do i go down right here good guess uh and then this one oh, oh oh i broke that and then down here this can go all the way to the bottom let's put a wall and then this part can just take it all the way down and then you can have your little grinder thing uh right here actually let's take all these out let's do a little bit of a grind job here uh let's go something like Oh no! Little grind job right there. Maybe change some of these to stone. Brick right there. Uh, and then down here, maybe you could drop a little hay thing. So a little grinder goes here. So this grinds it up and it comes down from here. And then on this, you can even add a little bit more of that bad boy. And there you go! A little grinder thing right there is grinding that up. Uh, you can even throw here in the corner maybe a little extra hay or something. I don't know. Just go nuts. Maybe some of these are broken. Oh, there we go. Something like that. There we go. And I, this is just grinding up. And that's it. That's pretty much it right there. Look at that. Let's take another little step back. I love that. I love that windmill. That is super cool. Oh, there we go. Oh, man. What do you guys think? Is this cool? I don't know. It looks a little different from the ones that I've done before, but I like it. I really, really like it. Look at that right there. I love the way uh, that oh, that windmill is going. All right. <laughs> I'm out of here for now. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I'm going to be back very soon with a lot more builds, a lot more conversions. Hopefully, you like this one, we're going to have a lot more to go. Maybe I'm thinking maybe another five more builds. So let me know what kind of builds am I missing in this village. And, and then I'm going, to, I'm going to start adding them because we've got maybe a little bit more before we finish it. And once we're done, world download. You guys can take this world with all the builds we have all the way down that row, all the way to here. And that's coming up once we finish this little village. All right, I'm out. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And I'll catch you on the next episode of Building with Sausage. See, you guys later. Look at this windmill for real. Oh.